Always on, on air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. Now, live. This is Fox Toledo Breaking News. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. We start tonight with breaking news on that series of sexual assaults around Toledo recently. Attacks on young women and teen girls. Tonight, a suspect in custody. Fox Toledo, Sean Hegarty's live at the safety building downtown with what police are saying. Sean? Yeah, Laura, it's not too often that the police chief hold a news conference at Friday night at 9.30, but that is what happened here at the safety building tonight because this has been such a talked about case throughout the city of Toledo, but tonight a suspect is in custody. Let's show you who we're talking about. Vincent Williams was taken into custody about 7.35 tonight. He is here at the safety building on the second floor here. Police caught up with him uh, tonight. They had uh, investigators were actually staking out his vehicle. The vehicle was moving. They moved in. He was caught after a chase. He got out of the vehicle, according to police, and actually tried to break into a home. Police then took him into custody. At this point, he has been charged with two counts of rape. Now, you know there have been a series of events that have happened throughout the city, according to the police chief, since November 5th. It has been eight incidences. We've had attempted abductions and three rape cases of a 13-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 17-year-old. Chief Mike Navarro and I will not tell us which exact cases that Williams is being charged with. What we can tell you, it is two counts of rape, and the chief said tonight that he does expect more charges as this investigation comes to fruition. But the chief said tonight in his news conference that it kind of echoed a sentiment that a lot of people are feeling relief tonight. Very relieved. I mean, this obviously, as you know, has been a uh, major news story every day for the past at least a week to 10 days. And uh, people are talking about it. I was out at the UT football game this afternoon, and several people asked me about this. So I think the uh, community will be extremely relieved that uh, this person has been arrested and is off the street. As for this suspect, Williams, the police chief says that his rap sheet is over 20 pages long. A lot of that stuff, traffic, but some other things. Disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, endangering children, drugs, receiving those stolen property, theft, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle several times. So the police chief says this guy is known to police. He actually had four outstanding warrants when police took him into custody tonight. Now, as for the evidence that the police have against them, they're not saying much, but they're saying that evidence collected from different crime scenes led them to Williams. Another interesting note about this, we've been telling you all week to call the Crime Stopper number if you knew anything. The tips that you were calling in to the police, none of those tips actually led to the arrest. It was good old-fashioned police work, as the investigators are telling us tonight. Now, that, of course, doesn't mean you shouldn't call if you have the tips. They always want to hear from the public tonight. But a case of good, honest police work today nabbed a suspect. We'll keep you updated in the next couple of days as Williams makes some court appearances. Reporting live in downtown Toledo, Sean Hagerty, Fox Toledo News. All right, thanks.